Welcome back to another episode of Space Bard, Minecraft Exploration and Tactics series, where I am trying to get all the achievements without ever using the space bar to jump or swim. Last episode didn't go so well. We were trying to fight the Ender Dragon. I, I struggled and asked people for suggestions. Thank you, by the way. Thanks to everybody who gave me various words of encouragement on the previous episode. I really appreciate it. Uh, one thing that I suggested, because I was surprised, it's only been up for a few hours, but uh, of the comments no one suggested, is instant health potions are something that I completely forgot about as a thing that I could make and bring along. And so that is something that will definitely help. But I was doing some off-camera work. I figured I was going to do want to do some more enchanting uh, and getting some other gear together. And of course, since I had just died, I was back at level zero. And we also had something to take a look at from the previous episode. Let me get over there and we'll talk about that. So you may recall that near the start of the previous episode, I was lamenting the fact that I had lost my best horse. And not only that, my only saddle, because the horse had just wandered off, or I really, I have no idea what happened to him. But the horse and the saddle were gone. And so I ended up having to walk to the stronghold, as I am doing now. And then when I got to the stronghold, I realized I had forgotten all the ender eyes. And so I was trying to walk and find my own way back and went a little bit of a different way just by kind of random happenstance since I was just trying to make my own slabs and walk way back. And I'd heard some monsters right here. Well, I came back to this spot off camera and decided to dig down. And when I dug down, I saw that. <laughs> And so I also dug a stairway down here, but I figured we should explore together. It is a skeleton dungeon that I went ahead and put some torches in. So a skeleton dungeon, any dungeon at all, is just amazing uh, by virtue of the fact that I haven't found a dungeon yet in this world prior to this. Uh, and so that's just kind of amazing in and of itself. I finally found a dungeon. And the fact that it's a skeleton dungeon... Alright, the zombie, I guess, went out to Pathfind to like find a different way to be or something. The fact that it's a skeleton dungeon is even better because it means that uh, I can farm arrows and possibly even good bows that could be useful uh, in the Ender Dragon fight. And finally, there are a couple of chests here. The only saddle that I did manage to get uh, thus far... I just got like a stone sword. I had some old tools that I was just trying to use up while I was doing some off-camera work. The only saddle that I found thus far was found in the nether in the nether fortress, but let's take a look at what we have in these dungeon chests. Golden apple, it's kind of nice. Uh, some more iron, redstone, another name tag, diamond horse armor, I don't have that yet. So those are all nice things, I will take those. Thank you very much. And in chest number two, <laughs> two more saddles. All right, that is fantastic. And I happen to have two more horses that I think were not quite as good as my other horse, but still, it's better to have horses than none. And if I want to, I could set up a little skeleton kind of trap right here for experience farming or for getting the bows and arrows and things. And I think I'm in the mood to do that, just to take a break from the Ender Dragon for a little bit. I'll probably do most of the work off camera because it's just kind of boring construction stuff. Uh, but I think I'm going to do that for a bit. I wasn't sure if this was going to be more difficult to build without being able to jump, but it actually wasn't too bad. I've got it mostly built, I think. Uh, and we still have daylight shining down into here, and I also have some torches in here. But it's kind of this standard skelevator kind of design, where basically you can go down here, and go down here, and you just have water streams that are going to push them away and push them away. And then bring us to a little elevator which I can't test myself because I need to press the space bar in order to swim up, and obviously I can't do that since this is space barred. Uh, but basically I built a ladder kind of beside this so that I could place all the signs in the water in the correct spots. Correct spots. And then I think what I want to do, I'm going to have to come back through here one more time. But basically I'm going to put occasionally a couple windows in here just in case something does go wrong, it'll make it easier to debug. And so I cooked up a little bit of glass. You can see one of the signs over there. It's just kind of alternating signs and water. A typical kind of design, but I really haven't built one of these in a long time. Uh, and so that was kind of fun just to 
build something different, and what did I just do? Uh, did I update this water? Right, it used to be running down there, and now it's running everywhere. Okay, let's... Let's put a slab here, actually. That way I'll still be able to hit the skeletons through here, I suppose. And I think otherwise they'll have a hard time hitting me, and then they'll all come up here, hopefully. I think. Uh, so let's find a way back on through, and we'll take the torches out. And then I've got five light holes kind of going down here, and so since it's daytime, I just slept in the bed. There's a bed over here. I had kind of like a whole temporary workstation and everything going on. Uh, we should be able to safely take out all the torches. And then we can cover up the holes from the top, and we we'll, should be ready to go. I also need to take out this little at ladder entrance and cover this up as well. So I need to remember to come around to this side. Actually, I guess I can close it up right here. Just like that. Okay. Need to get the torches off of the spawner. And... Yeah, I think otherwise we'll be just about ready to go. And check out and see if this thing works. Yeah, there's no sunlight getting in through there. And then there's a couple more torches over here. And otherwise, there's light, or sorry, there's water on the ground everywhere, and so no mobs are going to be spawning in the tunnel. It's only the ones uh, in the skeleton spawner itself. And then if I go over here, I'll go ahead and use some glass to close this up. So the skeletons are going to come down that path, and they're going to ride the skeletator up, and hopefully this is going to work. I think that's, that might be it. So I guess let's go ahead and give it a go. And so all I need to do, I guess I will plug up these holes with cobblestone just to make them easy to find in case I need to turn this back on. And I just heard a skeleton. And so I think it's working. I did give myself kind of easy, any easy access, kind of good way to see it working other than them eventually coming up here. So I'm just going to wait for a moment and see if we start getting some skeletons coming up to the top. Aha! Just making it easier to see one end to the other, but I see a skeleton here. So that is a good thing. And if I wanted to kill him, I could do that. I forgot about the loot. It would be better if I move them over like one block so that they're standing somewhere else so that I can actually get the loot. So that is probably one modification I want to make. And then... Not sure exactly how close. Let's see. It was right below me here. And you can stand up to 16 blocks away. So yeah, if I'm standing here, it should be no problem be able to get them. Is this a gold skeleton? Oh, there's a couple skeletons in here. Good. So it appears that you can kind of stack multiple skeletons here. I just saw some gold pants drop, and I could use some pants. I'm not allowed to wear any helmets in this series, and the only pants I'm allowed to wear are ones that drop from mobs, and so getting some pants would be great. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and reopen this to the sunlight so that we turn off the skeleton spawning, and then I'm going to kind of fix the outlet so they're standing somewhere where I can collect the loot. And yeah, then we'll try farming these guys a little bit. Oh, interesting. There is a guy who's kind of stuck in here. And so I guess they do need to kind of push each other along. But since they were able to push each other up, so long as more are spawning and continue to push them, I don't think that'll be an issue. Okay, a tiny modification. And the first guy who came up then got pushed over here. Eh, they're kind of getting pushed over here and kind of not. It's not perfect. Alright, and obviously it'd be better if I had splash potions and different things. But I think this is good enough. I'll be able to get arrows this way. I'll be able to get bones and experience this way. And... Yeah, alright. So I'm pretty happy with this. That's awesome, and I've already managed to pick up already... Wow, I'm breaking two pants. A helmet I can't use. And some gold boots. And... How many arrows do I have as well? This is just nice because it's a much easier way to get arrows. Uh, then kind of crafting them on your own, digging up gravel for forever. Okay, very cool. Okay, so I just farmed them to morning because I wanted to sleep in the bed one more time before I head back home. I'm going to drop off these caps, but I also got a power one bow, an unenchanted bow, and some chain boots, and I'm up to 36 arrows, which is pretty nice. And the final coup de gras is that I can grab some horse armor and horse stuff. Golden apple, I guess I'll go ahead and take back as well. Actually, I wouldn't mind taking back those name tags. Let's grab that as well. And actually, the mossy cobblestone. <laughs> so many things that I want. Um, yeah, we can leave some wood behind. I will take back the mossy cobble. Uh, but there are horses right over here in this field, and so I'm going to go try to tame a horse, uh, and then we can actually ride a horseback uh, and bring an extra horseback home, and so that'll be another nice thing. 
It took a while, but this horse finally loves me. He's got 12 hearts, which is nice. And it's been a while since I've ridden a horse to remember if this guy is fast or slow. He seems reasonably fast, actually. I think this is a pretty good horse. So I just put some diamond armor on him. And wow, gosh, what a difference. It's going to be so much easier to get back home on a horse than it was getting back over here. And I don't have to worry about going through all my hunger and it goes so much faster. Great. And I even got an extra saddle. Uh, and so I'll be able to saddle up one of my other horses as well. Okay, we are back alive and kicking. All right, I'm back home. I am going to leave him in this pen, but for safety's sake, I'm going to take the saddle and the horse armor off of him because those are harder to replace than the horse itself, although that does seem like he might be my new best horse. So that is great. Um, yeah, all right, I'm feeling a whole lot better now than I did in the previous episode. Of course, we haven't tried to fight the Ender Dragon in this episode, uh, but now we'll have some more tricks up our sleeve. Okay, hopefully I just had a little montage of me farming some skeletons. But we are going to try taking on the dragon again, this time with much better equipment. And I rode one of my poorer horses over here because my new best horse disappeared again. I wonder if where his little stable is, it's like on the edge of a chunk boundary or something. I don't know. In any case, what do I have? I've got a power four, punch two, flame one bow with more than three stacks of arrows because I have like seven times as many arrows as I ever did after farming skeletons for a little bit. I've got a basic iron sword and iron pick that I'm not going to use very much. I've got a lot of splash potions of healing too. Got some ladders in case I need them. I've got food. My food bars are all the way up. Uh, I've got instant health potion. I've got a regen potion over here as well. And for armor, I've got feather falling three, kind of useless projectile protection. Uh, some gold leggings with fire protection that I got off a of skeleton. And this is the big thing. Prot 4, Thorns 2, Unbreaking 3, Diamond Chest Plate. I used up 8 of my remaining 10 diamonds on this guy. And so, I'm actually, before I hop in here, I'm going to go rewatch the video and just remember exactly what the beginning is to make sure I get on the land mass before the dragon knocks me off. Uh, and then we're going to focus on the dragon and staying alive and then use the bow and arrow also to take out the ender crystals is the plan. So I'll be right back. Okay, heart rate is up. Let's go for this. Okay, we're in the end. We're getting onto the main land mass. I don't see the dragon's health bar, but okay, I do hear him. Okay, great. Here's an easy way to walk up. Okay, where's the dragon? Don't see the dragon anywhere. I know there's a thingy up. Oh, I didn't think about the fact that flame means that I can see kind of better where my arrows are going because they're kind of like tracer bullets. Um, and so that's kind of nice. So I can see that these haven't reached the top of the tower yet. And where did the dragon go? Hold on. I don't know. There's a crystal way up there that I am not nearly high enough. Okay, and this one is still alive. Where's the dragon? Crap! There's the dragon. Okay. So yeah, this thing is super high. So it's still going to be difficult to take out some of these crystals. I do have the feather falling now. Let's actually, let's run through some of this and just like keep alive some of my items really quick. Okay, there's one up there as well. I've never been good with the bow. And so trying to figure out the right trajectory to hit these things from below is definitely a challenge. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to try climbing up the ladder again and just see if I get a little crap, crap, crap. Okay. Uh, I don't need a, a healing thing yet. The protection is helping a lot. Uh, and it's really hard. Let me try actually getting up a different one. And actually, I wouldn't mind keeping this chest plate alive if possible. I shouldn't spend time going through the inventory. Um, yeah, that's something that cost me before. And where's the dragon? There's the dragon. Okay, I can see the dragon. Is the dragon coming for me? It's so dark on the screen. The dragon is coming for me. Okay. But it's going to be healing a whole lot. 
Uh, I want to see if I can get higher somewhere somehow to be able to take out some more healers. Oh, here comes the dragon. Crap. Uh, now I need to eat. Oh, the Enderman's after me. Crap, crap. Uh, splash potion. Okay. Let's take out the Enderman. Okay, I've got an Ender Pearl. That actually could be useful in case the dragon knocks me off. Uh, so maybe we'll hold on to that. Um, oh, crap, crap, crap! Ugh. Um, let's go ahead and use another one of these. <laughs> got me good enough. Um... Let's go after some easier crystals, I think, for a minute. Okay, where's the dragon? Don't see him. Crap, don't look at the Enderman. Crap! Alright, didn't hit that. Alright, where's the dragon? I see... I see the... Go, oh, killing crystal! Okay. Can I hit this one? Ah, oh, it's so hard to hit. And where's the dragon? Crap. All right, let's focus on the dragon for a minute. Let's try to just look at the dragon, and I still haven't hit this thing. All right, there's the dragon. Who's not coming after me right now. Who is gaining strength from this healing crystal. All right, okay. Ah, darn it! Okay, so there's still a healing crystal up here that I've not managed to hit. And can't manage to hit and save my life. And there's a couple of healing crystals over there the dragon's going to. Okay, there's at least some low ones over there, so maybe I can take out some of them. Okay, here comes the dragon. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, dragon's flying away for a minute. Let's get this on the bar. And now let's go try to run over. Crap, I hear the dragon coming behind me. And hit this. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's look for the dragon. There's the dragon. There's a crystal right there. Can I hit it? I can't tell if that was too high or too low. Here comes the dragon. Dragon's priority one. Make sure the dragon doesn't hit me and kill me. Okay, got that one. Great, I need to eat some food. Oh crap, here comes the dragon. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's one way up there that's still healing the dragon. And there's another one there. Okay, crap. Alright, let's do another one of these. Okay, great. Alright, so I really need to try to take out that one, I think. And I think I'm going to have to get higher. Alright, so I'm going to have to get higher. Oh, crap, I just angered an enderman. Okay, where's the dragon? Dragon is way up there, okay. I hate how dark it is in the end. Okay. Any chance I can hit that from here? That seemed like it went over. Might have gotten it actually there, couldn't tell. Okay, there's definitely still a healer way up there. Oh, I might have gotten that one too. Uh, if I did, that would be amazing. Alright, where's the dragon? Lost track of the dragon. Crap, crap. There he is. Okay. I can do a fair amount of damage with this bow. Let's see if he's still healing from any of the healers now. I am still healing. Don't get in front of me, Enderman. Uh, there is still a healer way over there. So let's just fire some crazy arrows at it. Oh, here comes the dragon. And there is a healer over there. Oh, crap. Okay, I didn't manage to look at that Enderman somehow. And the dragon, I'm going to need to... Oh, 
Yeah, there's still three healers or something. I was trying to see if I could focus on the dragon yet, but I think no. I think possibly if I go this way, though. Hold on, where's the dragon? Dragon, dragon, where you at? There you at. Okay, and there's a healer up there. Okay, so that's where I need to aim. I got that one. Okay, great. Uh, bow and arrow is definitely far more effective. All right, but the Ender Dragon is healing way off screen somewhere way over there. So I guess I need to go that way. Although, if I can get a bunch of arrows in a row... How many arrows do I have? I'm sure I still have at least two stacks, right? No, I've got a stack and a half. So I do have to be careful about my arrows. Okay, let's try to go over here. Crap, crap, crap. Ah, I don't have a water bucket on me either right now. Where are you? Crap, crap. Okay, I think you got unangry. Uh, let's drink one while I have a minute. And let's get that ready and let's have the regen potion ready. Okay. So there are still more healers over here. And without taking out the healers, I'm not sure that I can get the dragon. So let's get over in this direction somewhere. Let's actually get near some water also, so if the Endermen start coming at me, I have that as an option. And now let's try to locate the dragon in the sky once again, as well as any more healers. I cannot see the dragon to save my life. Okay, and I think there might still be one there. Okay, there, yes. Okay, so there's the dragon, and there's still one on top of this tower that's next to me that I've had so much trouble trying to get. And I need to eat some food when I have a chance. Crap, I'm wasting arrows. I guess I can pick up these arrows. I hadn't thought about that. All right. Okay, there's the dragon. Okay, think of me what you will. But I'm gonna see, let me climb this from a non-watered side. I'm gonna see if I can get some height Doesn't have to be a ton. Just like 10. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, got feather falling. That probably helped. Uh, I need to eat some food. No, my food's okay. Still healing up. I just want to see if I can get high enough because it seems like I can't shoot this one. Crystal, crap. Crap, crap. Healing potion. Okay, so we're going to try climbing up here. And that crap. Gah! Stupid dragon. All right, I can't seem to take that healer out. Uh, I am still healing. I'm going to need to use the regen potion in a minute. I've lost track of the dragon. There's the dragon. Oh, and there's still a healer over there somewhere, too. Maybe that one's lower than this one. Maybe that's one... Yeah, I think it is, actually. Let's go get the healer that's over here. So I think it's up here. Yes, okay, got that one. Great. So if I can just get down to like one or two healers, then I might be able to focus on the dragon. Okay, that's the super tall one that I can't seem to take out. Where'd the dragon go? And then there's one other one kind of way over on the other side of the island somewhere. Okay, there's the dragon somewhere. Dragon's gone away again. I'm gonna try to get to the other side of the island. Let's also eat while we have a chance. All right, quick look for the dragon. Here it comes. Okay. All right, I managed to block there. Kind of by accident, but I'll take it. Okay, kind of on a higher portion of the island here. Let's find the dragon again. And see if I can see any healers. I think there's a healer here. Yes, I got that one. Crap. Oh, there's a the dragon. Okay. Oh, man. I need to... Okay, time to regen. Okay. And... All right, dragon. Okay, there's still a healer here. Great. I can see it. All right, dragon, show me where the re regen healers are. All right, I'm regenerating for a little while. I'm also, I'm gonna put a uh, torch down right where I'm standing because I think I'm gonna sit here till the end of the battle. 
and try to live. Uh, but if I do die, I want to know where in the middle of the island to go pick up my stuff, because I am... Uh, I've got some really good armor and things. And this great power 4 bow, which is the only power 4 bow I have currently. But I think if there are few enough healers, we might be able to take them out with the rest of my arrows. There comes a dragon. One. Couldn't get another one. Okay, I'm going to have to worry about my arrow count here too. But the dragon's down about one third of its health. And right now it doesn't seem to be healing. There's probably at least one or two healers on the island. All right, got two more arrows in him. Great. Or her, as the case may be. All right, I'm just gonna fire one arrow at a time and just make sure that I can get a hit because I think that's the most important thing. I also need to preserve my arrows and want to make sure that I have maximum charge shots. All right, here comes the dragon again. Good. All right, it's about half health and it doesn't seem to be healing right now. I'm pretty sure there's still one or two healers, but they might be near the edge of the island and the dragon is staying near me. And even if it does heal up a little, I think I can still kind of make progress against the dragon's health bar. And I'm doing a good job keeping the dragon on screen so I don't lose track of her. Alright, don't go flying that way. I think there's a healer over there. That's right. Come towards me. In your face! Okay, great. It is below half health. Possibly for the first time. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's down to... 40%? We might be able to do this. Alright, down again. Take your time, do it right. Coming at me again, okay. Down to 30%. Alright, keep on seeing. Here it comes. Okay. Maybe 25% health left. Take your time. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Settle down. I do have a health potion, but I think I'm also just regenerating from food, and so I think I'm going to be okay. I'll hold on to the health potion in case I get a little lower. I'm also doing a good job keeping my head up, so I'm not looking at any endermen. Which is important. Ah. Alright. That was maybe a waste of an arrow. Nice. Alright, got two shots in. That's great. Here we go. Oh man, one more shot is going to do it, I think. And I've got at least one more arrow because my bow is pulled back. Alright, let's just wait for the perfect shot. Here it comes. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. The Ender Dragon. So difficult, so long, so boring. Such an awful fight. But it's done, it's over with. And I believe I even have some blocks that I can use to uh, get the heck out of here. <laughs> and I've got plenty of levels, we'll come back for them later. Achievement get! The end! Oh man, that was nerve wracking. All right, I guess once I discover that the island uh, is well covered. Well, I didn't have the arrows before, though. I had, like, a stack of arrows to my name before I started grinding all the skeletons. Okay, so, uh, my pants broke off, uh, but we've got some other nice armor, and we managed to get a couple of achievements. Thank goodness. Uh, let's go ahead and go over to the achievement monument and mark off those achievements. I forgot to, in the previous episode, we located the end. That is, we put all of the crystals in the end portal. And then we killed the ender dragon. I didn't get the dragon egg, but that's okay, because I just need to get the achievements. If we go to achievements, where are they? I think they're down over here somewhere. Right. The end! Locate the end! Taken! That was in the previous episode. And the end! Defeat the Ender Dragon! Taken! Great. And soon we'll be going after the Wither. 
uh, who is much more interesting in my opinion. But we got both of those achievements, so that is super cool. Um, my heart is still kind of racing. I've got 45 levels, so if I had some other great equipment to enchant, uh, I could definitely do it. Unfortunately, I'm just about out of diamonds. I think I have a diamond sword in here, and I have like two other diamonds to my name. I guess while we're here, we'll just take a quick peek to see if a diamond sword at level 30 uh, would be worth anything. Sharpness 3. If I'm up to level 30, that was at level 28. Sharpness 3. Yeah, I don't know that that's great. Okay, let's just, let's go ahead and call it an episode. I've got no idea uh, kind of where we are here. Now I've got a horse that's way over um, at the stronghold, but I've got another horse that I could ride over there to fetch it. Um, I'm just happy to have that behind me. Uh, died three times in the previous episode, but no times in this episode. And yeah, at this point, we have basically the honor rail achievement, a bunch of stuff related to the weather, to the wither, uh, and then adventuring time which will be a fun one to go out and explore the world and explore all the biomes. But we'll do that in a future episode. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. Thanks again for all the words of encouragement on the previous episode. Uh, maybe now that I have that done, I can settle down my nerves and possibly finish the roof of this house. Uh, I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I will see you again soon with more Minecraft Exploration and Tactics Space Bard. Bye-bye.